Bunker Escalation League. My name is Harry and I'll be fielding the Imperial Guard for this series. So, um, I'll be running running my guys as Armageddon Steel Legion. So, for those of you who don't know, that allows rapid fire weapons to um, kick off their rapid fire double shots at 18 inches rather than the normal uh, half range. In addition, vehicles in this army um, ignore, well, treat AP's, AP minus one attacks as having AP nothing. So it just makes my vehicles a lot more su survivable to small arms fire. So I've made a battalion detachment here. So I've got three HQs, three troops, and two elites. Starting off, I have got my war warlord here. He is a company commander armed with a las pistol and power sword. I have given him the Grand Strategist Wall of Trait, which um, not only allows me to refund command points on the five up, but also, once per game, allows me to do a single hit, wound, or saving throw reroll if I wish. So I know it's I know it's a bit cheesy going, oh, I need to farm command points, but guard an incredibly command point intensive list, so it makes sense at this low low points value. My next HQ is a primary Psyker. Um, he's, all, he's getting there, I just need to start do, continue doing the details on him. Um, he is going to be, his powers he'll know are Psychic Barrier and Night Shroud. So, Psychic Barrier allows me to select a unit for a warp charge value of 6 um, and add 1 to that unit saving characteristic. So ideal when paired up with, say, I don't know, take cover to make a unit much more difficult to get off an objective. Night Shroud, everyone knows and loves. That is select unit within 12, also walk charge value of six. And that gives a, un gives a unit minus one to hit um, for, um, well, when they're being shot at. This goes really well with my third and final HQ choice, which is a Limrus tank commander. He is armed with two plasma cannon sponsons and a las cannon. Um, I will be spending one command point at the start of every game, leaving me down with seven, um, to upgrade the standard battle cannon to the hammer of sundrance. Because who doesn't like a flat free damage battle cannon? Moving on. Basic squads of guardsmen. No upgrades in there. They are purely designed to cap objectives and get in, get in the way of any units that need that just don't fancy being well, just don't fancy getting combat with. Finally, moving on to elites to the elite section, I have a platoon commander here with a bolt gun. Um, the reason for taking him was um, I don't really want to put my company commander out in the open too much. He's, the guard characters are not survivable compared to, say, Marine or any other, any other faction's characters. They're really squishy. So the idea was that um, by having him, I can push out and give some of my upfront units all the support, but still not, well, but not sacrifice getting a very easy Warlord to kill. Um, and then finally, I don't normally take these, but I thought... At this low points game, they seem pretty pretty decent when doing a couple of test games with them. Um, these are a squad of veterans. So I have given them three grenade launchers and a cheeky RPG team. For 74 points, it's just a nice little amount of solid ballistic skill free shooting may come in handy. Alrighty then, so that is my 500 points. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, just keep if you want to keep up with what's going on with our Escalation League, make sure you check out the Instagram. All the guys will be tagging each other, so you'll be able to follow it through my page. As well as make sure to keep up with the channel, because this will be posted every week for the next couple of weeks with games, battle reports, and upcoming and what we're adding to our armies. If you've got any questions, leave some comments below, and we'll definitely try and help out.